Um, so I got a quick question. Um, I would love if you had the time to make a video on how you made the open close folder by name all the way from starting in Cubase logical uh, project project logical editor to the finish in Sherlock. <coughs> Uh, cool, we could do this um, a number of different ways. We could do it um, how I do it, or we could do it in a simpler way. So first of all, to open and close a folder, uh, um, the easiest way is to open and close the selected uh, folder. So I'm not sure if this PLE command uh, comes with Cubase or not, but I'm going to show you show it to you so you can just recreate it if you want. It's called uh, toggle open folder state and um, it does this. So you could try to run it and say container type is equal to folder track, track operation uh, toggle. That does it to everything, I believe. Yes, it does it to every track. And so that is um, maybe useful, uh, or maybe not. If I'm using visibility agents uh, at the same time, it's very useful. It doesn't matter at all. If I want to do it only to the selected track, I could add in a thing here saying that a container type is equal to folder track and property, property is set, event is selected. Then it would only do that to this track, but not all of the other track tracks. And then I can save that off as, as another thing uh, and kind of smush them together in a macro. Okay, so that is the open folder thingy. Um, if I want to show a selected track, let me just open one of these. I have these from Metagrid, that, that's just what I used earlier. So instead of making everything over again, I'm using the same commands uh, and commands. Okay, so let's say Spitfire Albion 3 is the one we want to show. Then this is the command I would make for that. Container type is equal to a folder track and the name is equal to Spitfire Albion 3 and then I just double click if I want to change that for Spitfire Symphonic Woodwinds I just uh, rename it and then go here click OK and click overwrite and that would uh, um, ensure that I updated the uh, the uh, <clears throat> uh, logical editor command the PLE command called scene 030. Okay, my next step is to add uh, that in those two commands and a couple of other ones into a macro thingy. So I do, um, I hide everything, first of all, just to be sure. Hide every track. And then I show my default tracks, which are uh, all of these tracks here, my global uh, tracks, someone call them the global tracks in logic. So that would be like the market tracks, the signature track, tempo track, uh, click track, arranger chain, uh, and transpose track, and, and chord track, and ruler tracks, all of that sort of stuff. I've uh, made a PLE for uh, showing or hiding that. And then I'm uh, putting in the, the uh, scene number 26 in this in this case but if this would be the the one we just had a look at the albion 3 thingy um, so I'm, I'm showing only that folder okay so now i'm showing these tracks and i'm showing the specific folder that i was pointing to and then i have a, um, a thing here called unfold all visible which does exactly uh, the the other thing that i showed you on the unfolding of tracks Okay, so far so good. This you can map to a, to a key if you wanted to. If you had a an extra keyboard, uh, you could um, remap those, or, or you could do a lot of uh, things <clears throat> to that. But if you want to uh, do that for Sherlock, uh, the naming of it is very important. So I named this. Uh, let's say I named it number twenty three. I don't remember now, but if we're here in Sherlock. Take a blank blank page. You go to edit, um, and I'm gonna add in a macro, and this is why it's super easy to to just rename it, rename it these uh, that way. So um, let's say 23 was the one that we wanted to make, and it's now done. Awesome. I can also, if I want, know that I want to uh, create a lot of these, I can I can click uh, right ink one. 
click and click the next one and get the next menu item so I can have all of these and now if I click these I'm not sure what they where they will go but this will be um, trailer brass symphonic brass masse aperture strings and so on um, so all of mine now looks like this um, these are getting closer to to the final <clears throat> final way I'm gonna organize these this is how they look now so now I can click from Hans Zimmer percussion and everything is unfolded and I've also for the for the bigger um, tracks so like eh, all strings I have another command that uh, folds all the tracks because if not it would be just a lot of tracks and a lot of scrolling like this is only one library. So um, that is the same command, just reversed. Um, hopefully that um, helped you out and um, thanks for watching.